Welcome back to Jones Lakila YouTube channel. How are you today? Hope every one of you is doing well well in your study. Today's lesson is more focusing on reviewing past year exam questions for autumn 2018, part two of two. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number 21, element in group one of the periodic table react with water. Which row describe the products made in the reactions and the trend in reactivity of the elements? All the alkaline metals react vigorously with cold water. In each reaction, Hydrogen gas is given off and the metal hydroxide is produced. The speed and violence of the reactions increases as you go down the group. And this shows that the reactivity of the alkaline metals increases as you go down group 1. So the answer for question 1 will be, in terms of the product, will be metal hydroxide and hydrogen. And trend in reactivity, it shows that it more reactive down the group. The equation shows the reactions between the halogens and aqueous bromide ion, which words complete gap one, two, and three. Chlorine reacts with bromine and to form colorless brown chlorine. So the answer will be B. Number 23, an inert gas arm is used to fill weather balloon. Which descriptions of R are correct? Hydrogen gas consists of only two hydrogen atoms. Means that it could be a or B. The structure of gas R, it should be single atom. Heating copper 2 carbonate produces copper 2 oxide and carbon dioxide. Heating the copper 2 oxide formed with carbon produces copper. Which processes are involved in this conversion of copper 2 carbonate to copper? The answer will be D. Four metals X, W, X, Y, and Z are separately reacted with water and diluted hydrochloric acid. The results are shown. And what is the order reactivity of the four metals thirteen with the least reactive? The answer will be the least reactive is one is W followed by Z and followed by W. And then finally we have most reactive is one physical vigorous and when it's reaction is reported. And also the output will be physics violently when it's a react with dilute hydrochloric acid. Number 26. Which statement about the uses of metal is not correct? Aluminium alloys are used extensively in aircraft due to their high strength to weight ratio. So, in this question, it's trying to find out the uses of metal which is not correct. So, the answer will be A. Aluminium is used in aircraft because of its strength and good electricity conductivity. Number 27, boxit contains aluminum oxide. Aluminum is extracted from aluminum oxide by electrolysis. Why is fluorite added to the electrolytic cells used to extract aluminum? 
in the extractions of aluminium by electrolytic process, fluorolite is aided to reduce the melting temperature of the mixture. And the use of the cryolite reduces some of the energy costs involved in extracting aluminium. So the answer given here is a molten cryolite result the aluminium oxide. Number 28, which statement about the Haber process is correct? The Haber process is the process which is convert atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia by the reactions with hydrogen using a metal catalyst under high temperatures and pressures. And this reaction is slightly releases energy, meaning that the reactions is favor at lower temperatures and higher pressures. It is actually decreases entropy complicating the process and hydrogen is produced via steam, reforming followed by an interactive flow cycle to react hydrogen with nitrogen to produce ammonia. So the answer will be nitrogen will react with nitrogen to be ammonia. Which statement about sulfur dioxide pollutions are correct? Sulfur dioxide pollutions damages limestone building and also it can cause a respiratory problem. The answer will be two and three. Argon is a noble gas used to fill light bulb. And what is the approximate percentage of argon in air? We know that the argon exists also in air, but in a low quantity. Argon makes up 0.94% of the Earth's atmosphere and is the third most abundant atmospheric gas. The answer will be A. The diagram shows experiment involved the rusting of iron. A student predicted the following result. In tube P, the iron nails rust, where you have iron nails and water. So it becomes rust. And for the in tube Q, the iron nails do not rust because water boils to remove the air. And we have, on top of that, we have oil. And the tube Q is actually covered by the rubber. And three, in tip R, the iron nail also do not rust because the tube is covered with the covered rubber. And there is anhydrous calcium chloride to dry the air. So which prediction are correct? So the answer will be one. Two and three. In a carbon cycle, which two processes add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere? So we have the process of combustion and respiration. Respiration is the process by which organisms liberate energy from food and need carbon dioxide. And when you exhale, it is carbon dioxide among other gases that you breathe out. During combustion or burning, carbon from fossil fuel combined with oxygen in the air to form carbon dioxide and water vapor. Which statement about sulfur or one of its compounds is correct? The answer will be sulfur occurs naturally as the element sulfur. What is not a use of lime? The answer given here is use of lime. It is used as a bleach in the manufacture of wood pulp. This is not where the lime is not used in this manufacture of wood pulp. Which equation representing the reaction of methane is correct? The above reaction is an example of chlorine, chlorination. Chlorination is the substitution of hydrogen atom 
by chlorine atom. And the condition used in the upper process is a UV light or diffuse sunlight or 400 Celsius. And this reaction is actually an example of substitution reaction. So the answer for this question will be A. Which two compounds are molecules which both contain a double bond? Ethanoid acid is a carboxylic acid with a double bond between carbon and oxygen. Ethane is not very complicated molecule, but it contains two carbon atoms that are double bonded to each other, with each of these atoms also bonded to hydrogen atom. So the answer will be C. Ethanol can be formed by fermentation and the reactions between steam and methane. Which of this process use a catalyst? So ethanol can be prepared either by fermentation of or from ethane. Ethanol is manufactured <laughs> by reacting ethane with steam. The catalyst is used is a solid silicon dioxide coated with phosphoric five acid. The answer for these questions would be A. Ethanol is manufactured from ethane, which is the advantage of this process. There are many advantages to making ethanol from ethane. A hydrocarbon obtained from crude oil, and it is a fairly cheap process, and it is a continuous, which means that more can be made for a smaller price in a smaller time. So the answer will be, it is a continuous process. And which reaction can be used to make ethanol acid? The conversion of ethanol to ethanol acid is oxidation reaction. So is the oxidation of ethanol. And the structure of an addition polymer is shown. And which monomer is used to make this polymer? The answer for this will be B. And um, with that being said, I would like to end my presentation for today's chapter. And hope to see you in the next presentation for the 2017. And hope that you subscribe to Jom Study Live YouTube channel. And by the way, there will be a customized note available at beacons.ai slash Jom Study Live. The way to access to customized note will be HTTPS double bullet backslash beacons.ai slash Jom Study Live. And other options to access to be page is why your journal study web is the web. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.